We want to bring in Chris Palmieri, of course, a man who covers Disney and will know the rich history that Susan Arnold has as a board member for 14 years at Disney and now taking the role of chair of that board, Seismic, as a very senior female in American business now. Uh, yes, for sure. And, you know, this has been an issue, the separation of the job of chairman and CEO for quite a while uh, at companies everywhere, but particularly at Disney. Uh, there was a time for a while they separated the chairman and had uh, uh, a separate, uh, you know, outside director serving as chairman. Uh, Bob Iger took on that role uh, eventually, and it was quite controversial. He had some corporate governance experts saying, you know, one person shouldn't have both jobs, and this is a signal then by Disney and its board that they want to return to that, having a sort of an outside uh, oversight mm -hmm. of the chief executive. Is this sort of an outside oversight of a chief executive or also someone who can be seen as a leader as we get again, you know, Chris, talk about the pivots to streaming and away from, well, what was just the traditional business of Disney? Right. I, I, you know, that that's a big part. You know, she's someone who's been on the board for 14 years, so she's very steeped in the culture and the decisions that were made along the way, mm -hmm. uh, but it's still uh, not directly tied to the business decisions that uh, Chief Executive uh, Bob Chapik has been making. So uh, if the board needs to uh, make decisions in a different direction, you know, they'll, she'll be the sort of a lead voice there. She's, of course, a woman who knows business well, Carlisle Group, operating executive there, but P&G as well. I mean, someone who understands a consumer business. Coincidentally, the previous uh, independent chairman was also the former CEO of, of Procter & Gamble, mm -hmm. uh, and so she was an executive there as well. So, uh, you know, the, the Disney, again, sort of signaling they, they like these big consumer products, brands, people who understand marketing, understand, uh, you know, all kinds of uh, people and, and, and customers. When we talk about, I guess, the potential for this company, I guess, to sort of move into a space where it's straddling streaming, it's still obviously trying to straddle the world uh, of traditional theatrical releases here. Is there any sense that what Susan Arnold would bring to the table would actually shift that perspective in any way different than what we've already seen out of Bob Chapek since he's taken over? I think that um, uh, you know, a company, a board wants to let their CEO run the company and, and set strategy and uh, make you know the important decisions uh, to the best uh, that they can. Uh, so what this really signals is sort of uh, there's going to be this extra level of oversight. There, uh, Bob Chapek won't be able to uh, operate with you know total autonomy in the way that uh, previous chairmen and uh, and CEOs have. Uh, that there will be this sort of additional check and balance uh, mm. over him. Uh, and, I, and I think that that's critical, um, you know, these, Disney in particular. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if we, if we lost Chris, him. are you still there with us? Uh, yeah, I can hear you still. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, finally, just big picture here. Talk to us about where we are in the horse race of, of the streaming as we're talking about management of the board, as we're talking about the fundamentals of the business. Where are we in the horse race of streaming versus the focus on the traditional businesses as well, particularly when we're looking at some of the virus headlines again? Mm. Well, JPEG has signaled that it's really all about streaming. I mean, he's a believer in the theatrical movie experience, but it's it's a it's a changed business. He said many times they're looking at much shorter windows of movies today are coming out uh, in theaters and then going online in 30 days or 45 days. Is that that's the sort of new normal? Uh, you know, JPEG realizes that streaming is the future. Question mark is to is to how a great uh, Disney Plus can continue to grow its subscriber base with well over 118 million subscribers right now.